Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are checking out something in Stormworks that is actually really, really interesting. This thing right here is the Kalgarat, which is a, uh, I, I guess, like just a huge mortar cannon thingamabobby uh, that can move itself along the ground on its tracks. It is a little bit strange, but anyway, today we're going to be checking this thing out. We're going to be aiming it and hopefully firing and hopefully actually hitting a target. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we'll see. It also actually comes with a reload thingamabobby as well, so it'll be kind of interesting to see how this guy works as well. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up, try and shoot it and see what happens from there. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and uh, climb up onto it. I guess we might have to do it from this side. So let's go ahead and climb up this way. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and we have a bunch of things here. So we have distance, we have altitude, we have fire. We also have crosshair zoom and we've got the crosshair itself. Okay, that is going to be completely useless to me, I think. Uh, maybe. So down, up, left and right. So let's say we want to aim left. Oh, we can actually turn the actual vehicle. That's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, driver hatch, let's go ahead and turn it using the driver hatch, and uh, we should be good. So coolant pump, fuel valve, starter. I mean, I, I, I'm assuming this is going to work, but I don't know. I don't see a throttle lever anywhere. Okay. Okay, that sounds like it's working. That sounds like the engine is on. Okay, nice. Parking brake is space. Okay, that is naturally off. Uh, let's see if we can turn to the left. Okay, it is hardly moving, but uh, it is moving. So that's good, <laughs> I suppose. Oh no, look at that. It's actually picking up speed now. Oh, it's so fast. It is so quick. It's really not. It is going. How fast is it going? Can we actually see? Seven kilometers an hour. Yeah, haven't you always wanted to go seven kilometers an hour in something like this? Most definitely. All right, have we got a reverse gear? All right, hang on. Whack it in reverse. Rev it up, rev it up, rev it up. Go, reverse! Okay, yeah, it's just as slow. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get this thing in a position where we can actually shoot at that town just there. Five hours later. We're still moving backwards. We are literally... Yeah, this is taking its time. I can just about see out of this, by the way. This is kind of a cool way of doing this. It's like a view hatch, um, but yeah, you, you can't really see very much. And we're not quite high enough to actually use it, but it is a nice way of actually trying to use it. Uh, because then you at least get a little bit of a slot to uh, aim out of. Or to see out of, I should say. Uh, there is a light in here too, but I don't know... I don't know where you turn the lights on at, actually. Oh, here they are. Inner lights. Nice. And we also have headlights, too. It is just a box, though. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So this looks like we should actually be able to aim out of here and hit the target. Whether that's actually true or not, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and see. So distance uh, is in meters. Let's go ahead and see how far away it is. Uh, we'll just go ahead and try and target this building right here. It is 289. Two, we'll go with 290. There you go. Uh, the altitude. We'll leave it at zero. I'm assuming that's going to be okay. Uh, and there we go. So, uh, up, down. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Desired pitch is 99. So, we got to raise this all the way to 99. And then we can fire. And hopefully, it'll go straight up into the sky. Get to its, uh, I don't know, apex? I don't know what the what the name of that would be. I think it's apex. And then it'll just fall straight back down and hopefully hit the target. So, desired pitch is 99. I don't know whether we can actually aim that far. It looks like it's still going, so we'll keep going. It is still working. Nice. We're at 69. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going. I don't know whether we're going to be able to get to 99, but we'll see. I think we are going to get almost there, so that's kind of cool. 98, okay, bam, 98, and no way, no way, we can't get to 99, hang on, let's go ahead and change it, um, distance, I don't know, should we go with 320, see if that makes a difference, 320, bam, there we go, desired pitch is 98, okay, we're ready to fire, I don't know whether we're quite in the right way, but let's go ahead and see, so turn it right, turn it right just a little bit, Okay, are we ready to go? Is this gonna work? I don't know. Fire! Oh. Is there really no round in it? Do I actually have to... Oh, this is gonna be so sad. If I have to do this... Oh no! I have to bring it all the way back down. In order to actually... 
That's sad. That's so sad. I need to bring it all the way back down so we can actually reload it. Yikes. Big yikes. Okay, so now we actually need this. So, uh, this is gonna be kind of interesting. We need to get inside this thing. We go ahead and turn internal lights on, turn the engine on-off thingy my bobby on, and I guess drive it. Here we go. So we can actually drive this thing. Um, and... I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I think this, where it says one, two, and three, we actually lift that out with the crane, and we position it on the back of the actual, uh, that thing. I don't know whether- the, I don't know how this is gonna go, but let's go ahead and check it out. At least this one is so much more maneuverable. I'm actually very, very pleased about that. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and see if this'll work. We'll just go ahead and park behind it, and we'll see if we can lower it down into position. So, go ahead and stop this right here. Awesome. And now jump outside. Okay, and where do we control the crane from? Here. Okay, so, uh, winch up. No, crane left, crane right, crane up. Okay, crane up, there we go. How am I supposed to no- How am I supposed to do this? Winch down. I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to see which one I'm connecting to. Uh, let's go ahead and disconnect. I think it's three. Alright, disconnect three. Left a little bit. Up a little bit, here we go. And winch down a little bit too. There we go, press the magnets on. And then lift up. Okay, this is... This is gonna be very tricky. This is gonna be extremely tricky. Alright, winch down a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, a little bit more. This is insane! Okay, more, more. We're so close. A little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, nice. Okay, left a little bit. Not that much. Oh my goodness. Down. Okay, so if I try and attach this on, and then we winch up, well, it's not gonna work because it's too big. It's too big! How am I supposed to do this? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and position this using the, uh, the thingamabobby we've been handed. There we go. And now that might actually work. Okay, so magnets, go ahead and turn that on. Winch up. Is it gonna work this time? No, it looks like it's attaching to the ground. That's not good. I, I, <laughs> This is why you read the instructions, so there is an ammo storage door. That's what we should be using. Okay, turn the magnets off, get the crane out of the way, and then we should be able to open the door, and then actually access the things we need to access. Okay, door is opening, there we go. Yeah, this will make it so much easier. I wish I had done this in the beginning. Anyway, turn left, here we go. Lift this up so we can actually go up there, good. And then lower it down. Turn the magnets on, okay, awesome. Uh, bring it up a little bit more, okay, amazing. And there we go. So lower this down in a second once it swings the other way. There we go, now lift it up. I think I have attached onto two things there, actually. Okay, hang on, disconnect. We need to go left even further. Lower it down a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit. There we go, okay. And now we need to put it on there, and then we should be good. Okay, we are currently very much on the wrong piece. So if we put it next to it, onto this piece, this is the one we want to reload with. There we go. It isn't actually as hard as I'm making it look. I'm not gonna lie. I'm making it look very difficult, but it's not this difficult. Okay, raise it up. Okay, good, yes, and then, uh, which bit of this actually attaches on? I'm not sure. So, go ahead and turn it left. Okay, lower it down. Okay, raise it up a little bit. Uh, crane up just a little bit too. In fact, crane up quite a lot, there we go, and then we should be able to winch it down. I don't know how this works, not gonna lie. Okay, and then I have some handles here to be able to control it, but uh, essentially it needs to turn that way, which it is doing, uh, but it needs to be lower. So we're gonna raise the crane higher, and we're gonna lower the winch down. Okay, okay. No, this isn't, this isn't terrible. Alright, winch down even more. Crane down a little bit. Okay, excellent. Turn this guy sideways. Oh, man. I might have parked a little bit too close. That's really sad, if I have. Uh, but essentially, this needs to turn all the way around. 
if possible, which I can't seem to drag this guy out, but if I push it, uh, it should go, which it has. There we go. Excellent. Keep pushing it. I don't think we quite have enough room. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I can drive this guy a little bit further forwards. That could work. All of this just to fire one round, am I right? This is crazy. Okay, go forwards. Not very far, not very much. Okay, there. Alright, brakes on. Okay, that might be good enough. I know it's not really very much, but it's probably enough. So turn this sideways. I mean, that looks like it should work. But the, that legit looks like it It should be connecting. But it's not. Oh, it's too low. It's too low. It needs to be higher. Oh, yikes. Winch up. Winch up a little bit more. Oh, my. What am I holding on to? Okay, hang on. Turn it. This is tricky. This is so tricky. Okay, go. Grab the hard point. This might be the easiest way of doing it. It is literally so much. It's so close. It's like touching. It's literally touching! That's insane! They're like on top of each other! Okay, bring it this way. Come on. Yes! We did it! We actually did it! Okay, so it's connected, and now all we need to do is disconnect this. There we go. Get this out of the way, I suppose. And uh, now we reload it into the cannon, which is all the way up there, but that's fine. So, all we need to do is bring this forwards. We're going to have to bring this down, though, in order for this to work. So let's go ahead and just push this down, and then we'll reload, and then we should be able to actually fire. I'm only going to fire one round, because this is insane. But I love it, to be fair. It's actually really cool. Okay, so that noise is, like, unbearable, but that's okay. So current pitch is all the way down. There we go. We jump to the other side, and we push it forwards. And we're going to go ahead and... Oh, no, that's not what we want. I think it's automatically reloading because the breach is open. I think that's what's happening. So, push this forwards until it is connected to there. There is actually already a round in there. There's legit... Release load... Why? 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 Why do I just push things? Why do I just push things? It looked like it wasn't going any further forwards, which... I mean, could be true, but... Why do I just push things? Because this is clearly not going to work now. Oh, yikes. Okay, we're going to try again because uh, clearly it didn't work last time. So, we're going to go ahead and do this one first. Let's go ahead and raise the crane up out of the way so that we can open up the door. Open up the door and then we're going to go ahead and release number three. We're then going to bring the crane down and also left. Uh, maybe not that far. Oh my goodness. Crane up. There we go. Winch down and uh, ang magnets on. Okay, a little bit too far. Let's go ahead and to the right a little bit. To the right a little bit more and crane down. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. That is, uh, that's not what I wanted. To the right a little bit more. Go ahead and winch down. Oh, winch up. Winch up, winch up, winch up. What is going on here? Oh my good. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Okay, it's doing stunts, but that's okay. Right, so left and winch down. Winch down, winch down, winch down. There we go, it's connecting. Nice. Winch up. Oh, this is... I was gonna say it's so much easier when you do it right, but actually I've not done it right. Uh... Okay. Winch down. Left a little bit. Okay. Winch down loads. Here we go. Slowly but surely, we will get there. Okay. Lift it up a tiny bit. Okay. I think if we just jump on and we move it over, uh, that will be the easiest way of doing this. Okay, there we go. It's only on that one. Excellent. So now we magnet magnetize it. We winch up. Okay, fantastic. It is actually working. And then we go ahead and send it left. Okay, lower it down. Okay, awesome sauce. Uh, winch this one upwards a little bit more. And then we need to somehow get this to there. They're a bit far apart though. Hmm. Okay, so I've pretty much got them pointing, like, right next to each other now, which is excellent. Um, with that being said, this guy needs to come downwards just a little tiny touch more, and a little bit more, and that should be it, I think. So, let's go ahead and reverse up, and hopefully attach. 
Oh my goodness! Okay, inside we go. Uh, let's go ahead and turn all the lights on, because that's fun. Okay, and go in reverse. Okay, I... I'm just gonna reverse. To about there, that's good. And now we should, maybe, be able to push that piece into place. Maybe. And it's go, go, go! There we go, All right, we turned it around. It looks like it's pretty much at the right area, so I'm gonna try and push it forwards. Okay, that's not working. Let me go ahead and open up the reload door, maybe that'll help. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, a gosh! Alright, get up there. So, reload do door, reload hatch, is open. Okay. Push. Yes! Okay, we are automatically connected again. Crane up and out of here. So far, this is working much better than it was. So that's lucky. Uh, forwards, yes. Okay, we're doing it this time. Hopefully. Okay, this time it actually looks like it's working a little bit better too. It is going underneath where it should be. Uh, which I don't think actually happened last time. And now we're going to go and open a breach. Here we go. Okay, so the breach is opening. This is going to get pushed into here, which is awesome. And then the other one is going to get pushed into there. We're going to go ahead and close the breach, which should load the round. And then we're good to go. Fantastic. We got it working, guys. Uh, backwards on this guy. Because we need to raise the gun up. And then we should be good to fire it. Maybe. Okay, so jump to the other side. There we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn the crosshair on. That's fine. And we're going to raise this essentially all the way up. We're going to do it to 99. And then we'll just go ahead and fire it. Also, I'm going to go ahead and aim left a little bit too. Because currently we are not quite aiming the right direction. So yeah, send it to 99 and we'll fire it and hopefully it will actually hit the buildings in front of us. I, I want it to. I don't know whether it will. Okay, here we go. We're almost at 98. There we go. That's fantastic and that is all we need. So, in theory, we can actually just fire this off now and that will work. Let's just go ahead and do it. So, 3, 2, 1, fire! Okay, it has gone directly upwards into the sky. I'm now going to run forwards. In fact, I'm going to stand on top of this. And hopefully it will come down and hit it. It might actually just land back on itself, though. That is also something that could definitely happen here. I don't want it to, but it definitely could. All right, here it comes. It is coming straight back down. It might work. This might actually work. Look at it. Okay, it's coming down. It is... Oh, a little bit too far. Okay, so what we've actually managed to do is park this too close to the target. That is essentially what we've done. So what I'm going to do now then is actually I'll reload it one more time and we'll fire it a little bit further away. Maybe at the train sheds over there. That seems like a cool target. Okay, so now it's time to actually load this thing in. So let's go ahead and send this forwards. We'll open up the breach as well so that it also works. And presumably, everything is going to go well. Maybe. I don't know. Keep sending it. We're going to go ahead and fire. It is like 900 away. Um, hopefully, we are actually aiming right towards it as well. We don't really have any correction for that. Actually, maybe we do. We'll see. No, we don't. We don't have any correction for that. Um, but it should be fine. Let's go ahead and see if it loads in. It is loading in. Excellent. Go ahead and close the breach. There we go. We're then going to have to go ahead and send this bit backwards. And that should be awesome. I think it's going to work anyway. I'm going to go ahead and close the reload hatch too. So it stays here. Okay, right. So let's go ahead and smash this in. Distance. What is the distance? 870. Uh, 870. Bosh. There we go. It is 96. So I think it could go even further than this, which is crazy. But let's go ahead and send this up and get it to 96. And hopefully it'll work. We're getting so close, it is almost there. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, no, 97. Lower it down, there we go, 96. Is it aiming at the right place? I want to say yes, but I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and see if that's in line. I think it pretty much is. So I'm just going to go ahead and fire it. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get over there and see if it lands. In fact, let's go ahead and just watch it from the top of this hill, and we'll see what happens. In fact, where is it? Oh, it's behind this at the moment. It's behind this cloud. Okay, we'll see it when it comes down. And I'm aiming for that. I don't know whether it'll hit it, though. All right, I'm going to move across. I want to keep my eye out for it, just in case it, like, flies back through the clouds really quickly. 
Because uh, it might, it might. Okay, so it went from there. There it is! There it is! It's going down! Oh, very close! Very close! I mean, to be fair, it is it is a weapon that is um, kind of inaccurate, to be fair. But it is a very, very cool little... Uh, Little system. We got a reload cart. We got two more reloads in there if we wanted to. We don't. Um, and then we've got the ability to actually fire it with this thing. Um, when I say two more reloads, by the way, it actually comes with a round in it. It then comes with two rounds per one of these. So we've actually got seven shots. Um, that's pretty cool. That is really cool. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. I will go ahead and link both of these guys down below if you guys want to check them out. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.